welcome back. Today's video tip is uh, for middle infielders. Probably a shortstop more than a second baseman, but uh, I'll show you how this can be applied to a second baseman also. Now, this refers to a question that I got from a reader who emailed me and said, on a double play feed from the shortstop. So a ground ball hit to the shortstop, and he's gonna make that short little feed to the second baseman. Should he open up his left side in order to clear his hips on the throw to second base? Okay, so basically what you'll see uh, some coaches teach and some players do is that they will catch the ball, they will open that left side, and then be able to more clearly make that throw to second base. So that's called opening your left side, opening your side in order to make that flip to second base. Now, the theory goes that if you don't do that, then your hips, you're not gonna be able to clear your hips. So if the second baseman is where the camera is and I catch the ball like this, see, I'm kind of blocked here because my hip and my foot's in the way and it's tougher to make that flip towards the camera. So that if I catch the ball and I open up, I can more easily make that little flip to second base. So that's a theory, that's what some people coach. Now, I don't coach that. Okay, if you're a coach out there and you think that's the right way to do it, then fine. Uh, but let me give you two reasons why I, do, I don't like that process. First off, it takes longer. If I'm catching the ball and I have to, I would say, waste time stepping back in order to make the throw, that's gonna take a little bit longer than just making the throw. The second reason, is because a lot of players that I've seen who do that, who are taught to do that, or just pick that up naturally, quite often is they start to step back too soon. Ideally, if you're doing that play correctly, is just after you make contact, or just as you're making contact with the ball, you're stepping back in order to clear your hips to make the throw. But what I found is a lot of guys will start to open up before they catch the ball. So they open, and then the ball hits. And quite often they end up being like a bullfighter. They just kind of olay the ball and the ball's bouncing out in the outfield. So for those two reasons, I don't teach that. But what I do teach is to keep that left foot back slightly. And once you keep that left foot back slightly, you don't have to open up anymore because your hips are already open up. So on a normal ground ball, if you see from this camera angle here, a right-handed fielder is always gonna put one foot in front of the other. So the last two steps they use to catch the ball are right foot, and then when they put their left foot down to actually catch the ball, you can see my left foot is slightly ahead of my right foot. And that's because I'm gonna be moving towards first base. But on this play here, I'm not throwing at the first base, I'm just making the flip to second base. So if I'm a shortstop, and I know the situation, and here's a ground ball hit to me, and I know I'm gonna to go to second base, the way I combat that is I don't put my left foot slightly ahead of my right foot like I normally would. What I do is I step forward and I keep my left foot back slightly, okay? Not a lot, slightly, just maybe three or four inches, which is gonna be enough for me to catch, and my hips are clear, and I can very easily make that throw without having to move my feet at all. I don't have to catch, open up, and then throw. My hips are already open up enough just by keeping that left foot back slightly, and I never have to move my feet. If I don't have to move my feet, that's one less thing I have to worry about, and it's gonna be quicker as well. So that's how I teach it. Uh, certainly if you're a coach and you like the other ways, hey, go ahead, knock yourself out. Uh, but I think uh, my method of just keeping that left foot back slightly on that type of play is all a shortstop is going to need. Now the same thing can happen with a second baseman, except it's the other foot. The second baseman is going to be used to having that right foot slightly back. Uh, so it's gonna be a little bit easier for him. So he just has to make sure that on a double play feed that he is keeping that right foot back a little bit so that he can catch and make that little flip second base. So it is gonna be a little easier for the second baseman because he's used to keeping that right foot back a little bit. A little tougher for the shortstop, but it's better than a laying it and 
having that ball go out in the outfield. Okay, so there's your tip for middle infielders. I uh, hope you like it. Get out there and work on it a little bit. I think you'll find that it's uh, slightly easier than some of the other methods. All right, folks. Well, I'm Coach McCreary. Until next time, keep working hard, everybody. Take care.